Hi guys, it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry about the lighting right now. Um, I have a very angular bathroom, so it's really hard for me to set up lighting and my camera and everything. So I will work on this, but this is my first skincare video. So today I'm going to be showing you, you know, what I use on my skin. Um, I do want to do a little bit of disclaimer before I get into the video. I am in no way a professional. I'm not an esthetician or anything like that. I'm not a very knowledge person in skincare. I mean, I do know some things, but I don't know everything. You know what I mean? So I've found what works for me, but my skin type, I guess I should tell you, I have very normal skin. Um, I never really have, I, I don't get zits. I'm not oily. I'm not dry. I mean, I have dry days, like if the weather is freaking out, but overall my skin is very normal. My skin is also not sensitive at all. It responds well to almost absolutely everything. So just keep that in mind when you are watching this video. Um, this was a, I was very hesitant about doing this kind of video, but it was very, very, very requested. So that is why I'm doing it today. So for those of you who requested this, I really do hope you enjoy it. And if you just want to tune in and watch it anyway, then I hope you enjoy it also. So without further ado, let's just get into my nighttime skincare routine. Okay guys, so I start out by using the Neutrogena Cleansing Oil. It's a light formula and has a variety of emeralds. Emolins, em emolins to make rinsing off the oil a lot easier because when you use like oil it can be a little bit heavy but this is a lot lighter version of it. I do prefer the Garnier cleansing oil but they were sold out of it and I don't use makeup removing wipes because it's just that's a little bit too much tugging and everything at the skin and I just prefer using the oil. So I just go do that and I also do dual cleansing which is using a cleansing oil first and then you go in with your regular cleanser. Um, this is really good when you have dry skin because you're getting that extra boost of moisture. And if you wear heavy makeup and your uh, regular cleanser just doesn't do the job, you do need to do dual cleansing to make sure you get all of your makeup off. So I am going with Cetaphil, which I use this one because it, I think it's the dermatologist number one recommended uh, facial wash, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if I'm incorrect on that, but I believe it's the number one recommended. And it's also very gentle and it's actually really moisturizing, it has a really soft texture to it and I really enjoy that. Um, normally I would just rinse my face but for the sake of the video I am using a wash rag so you guys can see me remove my soap. And I also hate getting water on my arms, I know that sounds weird, just the water drips on your arms is super annoying, you know what I mean. Anyways, so then I go in with toner, you always want to go in with a toner because it helps balance out the pH, the pH balance in your skin and on top of that it removes any makeup that you may have missed and trust me, you missed some makeup. Even if you think you didn't, you missed some makeup. So <laughs> just go ahead and use a toner, I highly recommend them. I like this Michael Todd True Organics one, the Cranberry Antiox Antioxidant. Um, it's very hydrating and it's an anti-aging toner and you need that when you're in your 20s. And then I'm going in with my favorite moisturizer, this is the Pearl Leaf. Pearlies, Pearlies, Pure Moist. Um, it contains SPF 30 and it's very lightweight, so I really like this for the spring and summertime because you get that extra SPF. Um, also, the second ingredient in the second ingredient in it is glycerin, which is really nice for helping your makeup stick on. So I highly recommend using it before applying your makeup and your primer. And now I'm going with the Pearlies. Uh, eye serum 4-in-1 it's like the lotus one it's the blue lotus 4-in-1 eye adore serum and I just pressed this into my skin and this is very hydrating and then I go with another moisturizer which is the um the Jason cream C effects this has vitamin C in it and it's really hydrating on the skin and it firms my skin I do upward strokes because you always want to work against gravity it's okay if you tug on your skin a little bit but it's the direction you tug it I I mean, of course I'm not yanking my skin, but I do pull on it a little bit when I'm moving up, but you always want to work against gravity. So then I go with the beauty oil. I like to use the Derma E oil. This is one you can pick up at the drugstore. It's good for your hair, skin, and nails also. I recommend using a beauty oil even if you have oily skin because your skin, if it feels like it's not getting enough oil, it's going to try and compensate for that. So just use the beauty oil unless you've tried them and they really didn't work. So while that's setting my skin, I do go ahead and just brush my teeth, but this is not thrilling at all. If you guys are curious, I used to pull complete from Costco. Nothing exciting. Anyway, so then I go in vitamin E cream. I love going in with with a vitamin E cream because it's just it's so pure and it's so good for your skin. 
it's super thick but I apply this to my neck and my arms and everything to help firm my skin and to keep it hydrated all night long because I need intense moisture during the night because I don't know I don't think like the air in our room but I'm so dry when I wake up it's so bad um, and that's not my skin type so it's really confusing so then I just take that in my t-zone also just to prevent any dryness that could happen so that is it for my skincare routine. I know it might seem like a lot of moisturizers, but it's just I like moisturizer and my skin reacts well to it, so I figured why not. By the way, this redness right here, this will be gone in the next like 10 minutes. Just you know, when you're pressing on your face or rubbing, your anyone's skin will turn red. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I do apologize about the background though. I am filming in my daughter's bathroom because my girls are sleeping and our master bathroom is in our bedroom where our youngest is sleeping right now so I kind of had to film in there but like Ey! so don't mind the owls over here <laughs> but anyway so I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big ol' thumbs up comment down below I will have all the products that I use down below in the description box if you are curious about any of these so yeah I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big ol' thumbs up comment down below Hit that subscribe button so you miss any more videos. And anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or evening, whatever it is for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.